All right, in this lesson, after a short review of set and reset instructions, we're going to learn similar instructions, which are set and reset bit field and also SR and R's flip flop. After that we'll do a simple exercise. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content, I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Ok, in previous video, we learned these three instructions, negate assignment, set and reset outputs. Also if you remember, we've used them in a project to turn on a motor, a green and a red lamp. And this was its program, which consists of three networks for each outputs. Let's review them. This is the FBD symbol of negate assignment. Its input, Q0.1, is in the left, this, Q0.2, is its output. If the RLO at the input of the box is 1, the output is reset to 0. If the RLO at the input of the box is 0, the output is set to 1. Well, this the symbol of set in FBD. If the box input has the signal state 1, the output, here Q0.0, is set to 1. If there is an RLO of 0 at the box input, the signal state of the output remains unchanged. This is the symbol of reset instruction. Unlike set output, at this instruction, when its input has the signal state 1, its output reset to 0. Otherwise its output remains unchanged. Let me change this ladder program to FBD. You may want to do this project in FBD language. That's simple. Alright, until now, we've learned these instructions of bit logic operations. Now let's continue and see what next instructions are. Next instruction is set bit field. This is like set instruction, but is used to set several bits starting from a certain address. For this program, when I0.0 address is activated, from this address, 3 bits are set to 1. So Q0.0, Q0.1 and Q0.2 addresses will change to on. Reset bit field is also like pervious. But this is used to reset several bits to 0. These are FBD symbols. As you see, for this block, first input enables the block, and second inputs determine how many bit must set to 1. Ok, now let's write a program to turn three lamps on with I0.0 .0 input and turn them off with I0.1 input, this is the PLC wiring which use two push buttons and three lamps. Well, with two previous instructions, we can do this project easily, like this FBD program. Well, this table shows how the program works. When both inputs are inactive or zero, both blocks don't do anything. So related outputs remain their last state. When only I0.0 is 1, it's enable set bit field instruction. And set Q0.0 to 1 and also Q0.1 and Q0.2. When only I0.1 is activated, the reset bit field reset three outputs to zero, thus the three lamps will be off. And what about last condition when both blocks are activated? See here, CPU execute the reset block after set once. So the reset bit field has priority over set. So in this condition, our lamps will be off. Now let's try to write this in TIA software. First let me open the last project. 
as you now for this PLC, we write our program here, in the OB1 block. And also we've seen how configure a PLC at device configuration. Pay attention, if there are several PLC stations in an industrial process, with the same hardware, we don't need to define their hardware again. Just right click on a PLC, select copy, and paste it here. Now we have another PLC with the same settings such as its hardware and program with all its tags. See here, now two OB1 blocks are opened, which the second OB1 is of the new PLC. Let me change its name. Here I want to write a new program. So I clear the past once and also let me clear all previous tags. Now I want to define tags for all inputs and outputs in the PLC tags table. See the PLC wiring. There are two push buttons at PLC inputs, and also, outputs with Q0.0 address to Q0.2, are connected to three lamps, which their tags are H1, H2, and H3. So let me define my tags based on this PLC wiring. OK, save project, close PLC tags table. Now let's use set and reset bit field instructions to turn on three lamps. Now, I can use tags, which have been defined in the PLC tags table. As you see the only difference between this instruction and set is here. In the set or reset bit field we need right here an integer number. We want to turn on Q0.0 and two later outputs. So type 3 here. Try to test program like previous videos. Also if you change program language to FBD, you will see this program which has been explained before. Now let's see another instruction. Well, next bit logic operands are SR and R's flip flops. These have both set and reset instructions, which have been explained before. Here take care of SR and R's. As you see, at set reset flip flop, the reset input is lower than set, so if both inputs, I0.0 and I0.1 at this program, are activated, CPU first decide to set output to 1, then decide to reset it to 0. 
so its final decision is resetting output to zero. Also the R's flip-flop is like SR, but at this one set has priority over reset. FBD language use these symbols for SR and R's flip-flops, which are same as ladder symbols. Now let's do a simple project. Let's write a program to turn the motor on with I0.0 .0 and turn it off with I0.1 or I0.2. With this PLC wiring, we have done a project to turn on or off a motor. Now here is an emergency push button which is normally close. So when stop or emergency push buttons are pressed, the motor must be turned off. Ok, first stop this video and try to do this project. After that let's see how I write this program. I start from previous program. Like this program I want to set and reset an output, not three outputs. So I need to use simple set and reset instructions. Well, I can delete this program and insert them from write list. But I can change it in another way. If you click here, a similar operand which can be replaced here are shown. So I select set here. Also let me to change reset bit field instruction to simple reset. When there are two or more PLC, pay attention where are you. Now I'm in this PLC with this name. Now to have a better program, let me to modify use tags. So open the PLC tag table. Here, first and second tags are suitable. I change Q0.0 tag from H1 to motor. Well, I don't need later tags, but I'm going to define emergency tag. Here, in data type column, data type can be chosen. Until now, we have worked just boolean addresses, which have only two state. 0 or 1, in another word false or true. Alright. The emergency push button is connected to I0.2. So I define this address here. Now I save the settings and come back to OB1 block. As you see, the I0.0 address, set motor to on, and I0.1 contact reset it to off. But in this project we have the emergency push button beside stop, which resets the motor to off. Listen again. Stop or emergency turn the motor off. So we need or logic. Well I click here and then insert an OR block, now insert emergency address or its tag here. This program won't work correctly, why? CPLC wiring again. We've used a normally closed push button for emergency, instead of normally open, so in usual conditions, the I0.2 address will be 1. Thus this program turn the motor off in usual conditions, and also, if it is pressed in emergency conditions, this program won't reset output. Here we must invert of I0.2 address. In latter language we've used normally close contacts, here in FBD language we can use this icon, invert RLO, for inverting result or logic. Now let's simulate this program like previous projects. As you see, when PLC is started with its normal conditions, I0.0 and I0.1 are false and I0.2 is true, watch table show the motor is off. When start is activated, motor will be on. And now, if emergency push button is pressed, 
respectively the I0.2 address change to 0, the output will be off. Similarly, I can test this program with my PLC. In this program, the stop and emergency switches are used to reset my output. Unlike stop switch, the emergency switch must be open to reset the output because of this circle, which invert the emergency state. Now let me exit from CPU and change program language to ladder. As you see, ladder language use a branch to have or logic and also for emergency use a normally close contact. Okay, we reach to end of this video but let me to say a point of this PLC wiring. Why we don't use a normally open push button for emergency. See here, suppose these two wire have been disconnected and we don't know yet. When if I press stop push button, the motor won't stop. Thus I start to find this problem. But in a emergency condition we don't have any time. With this wiring, if either emergency push button is pressed or its wiring is disconnected, PLC will turn off the motor. So before I need to use emergency push button, I can find this problem. In next video, we're going to complete bit logic operands. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.